Hello everyone and welcome back to TZ Code. In this video, we will talk about a JavaScript function that is dot replace and we will learn something about it which you might not be aware of. So let's get started. So this is my developer console and I use it in most of my videos. So let's quickly take an example. Suppose I declare a variable. Now in this variable, I mistakenly added i in the end. Now what if I want to replace it? So I will use JavaScript's native function that is dot replace. So this function expects two parameters. First one is what I want to replace. And the second one is with what I want to replace. So I'm passing a blank string over here. And the output is without this i, which I wanted to replace. Now this is a happy scenario of this replace function. Now what if I had Now what if, if I had two i characters, in that case, I'm gonna run this function again and I will see only one i is replaced. Now what exactly happened here is that this replace method replaced only the first instance of character i. But what I actually wanted, I wanted to replace both the i with blank string. So to help me with that thing, replace function has a workaround. So what I'm going to do is, instead of this single quotes, I've added these slashes. But if I run this, the output would be same. So you need to add a character G with it. What G means? It means global. So what this G does, it globally checks the string, whether the I is present or not. For every occurrence, it replaces this I with this blank string. So if I run this, the output would be this. So in easy word, if I just directly write it down here and save my effort, so I have specified multiple i in over here and I'll just write this particular code and let's see the output. So as you can see, it has replaced all the i with blank space, not just the first occurrence. So this way you can replace multiple instances of a particular string by using this regex technique. But you might say that you were already aware of this thing. Okay. So in that case, I have something which you might not be aware of that is replacing a text without worrying about the case in which the text is present. So I'm going to show you an example. Now I'm going to replace hello world from here. If I write this, in this case, I have replaced only one word, which is starting with capital H and other letters are in lower case. What if I want to remove all the hello by writing just single statement? So I can do this by writing this. So my job is done now. Now what this little I did, it said, okay, you want to replace something. Don't worry about the case. I'll just remove it directly. So the meaning of I here is this is like case insensitive. If you want something to be replaced and you don't care about the case that is present in it, you can just specify the string over here and just write down I next to the G. So this GI in combination means remove all the occurrences of hello irrespective of the case and return me the replace string. So that's my output. I could have done this as well and the output would have been same. So this way you can use this replace method. Sometimes requirement arises for these kind of replacement. In that case, you should be ready. So try this method at your end and let us know if it was helpful for you. And if you like this video, you can subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for investing your time in this video. Happy learning.